Hello friends, 901 days of war and a quick update from the war zone. In south, on Kharsom front, no changes. Zaporizhia, once again. No changes on entire front of Rabotin, Verbov, Remivki, salient and positional battle continuing. And this is the situation for some time now. Marinka, the Russian forces made some gains in Konstantin Nivka side. Also, they moved west of Pobeda. And Georgievka, no changes. Krasno, Gorivka, Russians made gains towards the western side. And Nevelskoye is fully seized by Russian army now. Odivka, Karloka side, no changes. Towards Gordovka, Russians made advanced inside the village from the east, while they also moved towards. Spirini Donoka and Lishiknoe. Towards Pokrovsk direction, Russians advance in the forest belts around Volchia River. Toresk, some gains for the Russians on the outskirts of Vozdvi Zanka as well as Zherzinsky. On the entire front of Bakhmut, Chasivyar up to Siversk, positional battle continuing, no changes. Northeast Ukraine in Serebriansky foresty towards Liman Krimina and up to Kupian Swatovo. No significant changes. North of Kharkov, that is towards Slobozansky direction, the battle continues towards Lipsty as well as Vovachansk. Ukrainians try to cross Belgorod region again towards. Bezai Menu area. However, no success. They were repent. Coming to Kursk, the hot war zone in Sudza district. Eastern part remains with Russians while center and west are grey zone. In south, Ukrainians remain in Plakho and further east. North of Sudza towards Murti Nivka, it remains with Russian army, though fight for it continuing, and Ukrainians are continuing their attacks. Further up Kurenovo district, Ukrainians control forest area along Sudza Kurenovo highway. Further effort by Ukrainians to advance towards Kurenovo and Ligav has not been successful as far as below district is concerned no changes interdiction missions russians continue heavily targeting kiev with uavs and even using ballistic missiles provided by north korea also in sumy kharkiv kramatorsk poltava kremenchuk and odisha ukrainians have once again hit zaporizhia nuclear power plant with uav and launching their drones as well as missiles in northern part of their regions. Palestine-Israel Middle East, no significant changes as far as Gaza Strip is concerned. Hamas, by the way, have withdrawn from ceasefire negotiations, which was to be held on 15th August, mediated by US, Egypt and Qatar. Western media is guessing that Iran is likely to retaliate before the talk starts. Afghanistan militia has shown that they have started using various arms and ammunition equipment left over by NATO and US like helicopter MD-500 and others including small aircraft. Well, they too can do it but I suspect the Chinese technicians must have helped them. So that is the brief update as far as my video is concerned and hopefully see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching it. See you.